Smoke it till it's stupid state, stay until it's late Sweet like chocolate cake, part just like the shit I roll off paper plates Search for sweet escape because inside I feel I'm dying slow I tell you all this What is happening my dogs? My name is Madison and I'm the auction dog And today I've got quite the treat for you guys honestly So I'm at a dealer only auto auction right now And there's a car here that really you'd never see outside of Barrett Jackson or something I really don't know what I think they just brought it here because this auction's local to where these cars are coming from there was a guy that sold his collection recently or at least a, was a brother of some of, of some dealer here and that's kind of why these cars are all ending up here but I just wanted to make a little episode about this car specifically and show you guys what we're dealing with because wow honestly So this is a W113, 1990, uh, it's a 1970 Mercedes-Benz 280SL. And I wanna say this is the convertible Roadster, obviously. And boy, is this a nice example of everything. I mean, look at the teak in here. It's all still in good shape. Some cracking, some stuff, but it's from freaking 50 years ago. And look at the motor. The, the block, this engine may, may have been rebuilt, may have, may have not. Kind of looks factory, kind of doesn't, but either way, it's really, really well preserved. Everything's in decent shape too, and I'm just, I'm just over here sitting here like floored by this freaking thing, dude. It's so sweet, it's so sweet, and it's, it's so funny because these cars are worth a fortune right now, dude. I don't know, understand why this thing would even be here. It's a fifty thousand dollar car, if not more, say fifty to sixty, seventy. Once you get it graded and rated and everything, it's insane. So, I'm just like. I'm over the hill about this thing. So if you look at all the rubbers, it looks like it's just been pristine. So apparently these cars all sat in the dude's garage or some sort of shop. He had that AM General over there too, that freaking H1. And he had another one of these here last week, but I was sick or I was out of town last week. So I wasn't able to make it to that auction to film that one. So I'm like very surprised that that hood is so thin. It's so light. It's crazy. It really is. I'm going to push this down over here. The hood latch is on the side over here. Oh. There you go, perfect. I am over the hill about this thing. Look at the side profile of the car. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It really is. It's just freaking simple. It's elegant. It looks beautiful going down the road, I'm sure. And it's so funny because you probably could have bought these for nothing, you know, not not too long ago. It's like, look at the freaking, look at the really nice side exit, twin pop, little twin pipe exhaust there. I like that you put the gas in like that. And then the freaking trunk like has these buttons. Look how nice that is. Boom, like a, it's such a nice, just got a nice throw to that button. You know, I feel it's very pleasing. All the chrome's in really good shape. E-brake for driver's side, <laughs> might need something. Oh, there you go. But dude, wow, absolutely incredible. Look at that thing. It's insane the black top looks so good too with the red stripes just the whole color it's not even white it's like it's like a off-white bay it's not even ba it's not beige it's off-white essentially which is a really nice the whole underside of it's so nice too dude look at the front end too and look at that that's really reminds you of like some of the cars nowadays that are coming out from them the, the angled forward like that like how the grill is actually angled like that it's just absolutely beautiful it really is i can't even believe it i can't believe this is here you know Look at the profile of the car. I'm telling you, man. It don't get much better. 
And that's why these are these will be $100,000 cars one day. It will be a very, very expensive collectible. And all these old Benzes will be, you know? And I've seen even the 560 SECs, the stuff that people didn't even want, like the old SLs, the old the old uh, CLs, you know, I like that kind of stuff too. But even like just, just the old stuff, the hammer, you know what I'm saying? All the old AMG stuff is gonna be worth just like way up there. And I had friends that were driving some of that stuff when we were younger, dude, it was crazy. But man, look at the interior too on this thing. So not only does it have a beautiful out, out, like exterior between the black and the freaking off-white, like almost cream coloring, but look at that, dude. Red guts. Look at all the chrome. All these freaking polished pieces are so nice. Look how dainty that is too. You know, the adjuster for the seats. It's got a nice Nardi wheel, classic Nardi in here. And man, this is just unrestored, unrestored gold. A little bit of surface rust, a little flash rusting here and there. But this is unrestored gold right here. This is factory as all get if as it gets, you know what I'm saying? And it's so good. It's so good. And the person probably bought this car for 10 grand. You know, the you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, is however long it was. But I'm just so over the hill about how nice this thing is, dude. And the driving position is very nice. It's got cold air. Oh, hold on here. I thought it was funny that it's only a four-speed but it ain't meant to freaking fly around in. Starts right up, air's cold. I don't even know if that's a period correct Sony or not, but this is all cold. Look at the teeth, dude. Unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. It's just such a good shot. I wonder why that's bouncing. Probably something wrong with the, with that, with the tank sensor. That gas pedal feels like very springy weird everything is so analog and mechanical in this thing which obviously because it's a 1970 but of course you can't be can't be driving without smoking around here you know that can't be but one of my favorite things about these old cars is, is the fact that they're analog yes it doesn't really make for the best driving experience if you're gonna be driving them long distances and stuff but who gives a rat's ass this thing is so sweet dude honestly it really is I can't even believe it look at all the chrome I would just polish I would micro polish all of this stuff so it just shined perfectly I, the gauges are super clear, super, super clear. And I'm surprised that the woods is in as good shape it is. I wouldn't be leaving it out here. I just wouldn't be. Everything's crank, just, dude, insane. And I love this little cue ball freaking shifter, man. It doesn't get much better. It doesn't. It absolutely does not get much better as far as classic Benzes go. And this thing is gonna be bringing the bank tomorrow. I'd be surprised if it doesn't do 50 grand. And if it doesn't, I wouldn't sell it. You know, 50, 60, 70,000 easily. This one's unrestored, so it might do 50, but dude, it's worth it, man. It's worth it. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. It's crazy. It's so worth it. I love classic Mercedes just as much as I like classic BMW. I really, really do. And I don't think that, I think that they both have just their own level of charm that just is fantastic, dude. It's like driving an old 911 right now, dude. It's like getting in. That's exactly what this is like. Driving an old 911 or driving an old M3, driving a driving a, t a 2000 Ti, you know what I'm saying? Something, a 2002 Ti, like something just with that much soul that's that's from this era. Man, wow. I've, ne I've never even thought I'd get to sit in one of these things until I owned one or went to some sort of specific car museum or whatever else, but dude, wow. Yeah, man, I really just wanted to highlight this car and show you guys that sometimes weird stuff does come through the auctions and boy, is this a freaking good one. You know, it's, it's crazy. I, I'm going to, I'll watch the auctions tomorrow and we will see what this one does. And I'll probably post about it on my Instagram. If you don't follow us and we're at, at auction dog on Instagram, or you can find us on our website, www.theauctiondog.com. You can keep up with our builds on there. We buy and sell a lot of stuff. I am a small car dealer here in Florida. And uh, yeah, man, watch us in our highs and lows. We're trying to get, we, we focus and we specialize in enthusiast-based vehicles. You know, I know a little bit about a lot of different things, so I'm able to kind of bring different cars to market and connect buyers with their dream cars, and it really, really makes me happy in my cold, cold heart, man. So if you have got this far in the video, thank you guys very much for watching. I do very much appreciate it. Give us a like, give us a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, whatever else. And I, uh, yeah, man, I do really appreciate it. Peace out, my dogs. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you.